Hi everybody, Scott Evelyn here, back in the office this week for uh, the latest installment of the Video Book Club. Um, this week I want to take a little bit of a different turn with a book. Uh, it's a book that I finished reading a couple of weeks ago. It's called The Good Soldiers by David Finkel. He's a Pulitzer Prize winning uh, reporter. Uh, he's the national enterprise editor these days for the Washington Post. And The Good Soldiers is about the story of Army Battalion 2-16, nicknamed the Rangers, who played a, a critical role in the surge uh, in Iraq, in Baghdad in, in 2007 and 2008. And I thought at this time when we're mounting another surge in Afghanistan, and it's not just the United States, but other, other, nas uh, other nations are involved in that as well. I was in Britain last fall, and, and the Afghanistan situation is a very, you know, very real concern in Britain. Uh, a big story in the news there, as it is in Canada. I was there last year, and it's a, it's a big story in Canada as well. So sometimes in the U.S., uh, we forget that other, other countries are involved in, in these wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. But anyway, The Good Soldiers is a, uh, a really compelling, engrossing, and sometimes brutal uh, story of what our soldiers do on our behalf. And David Finkel was embedded with the 216 uh, for eight months. Uh, so pretty much everything you read in The Good Soldiers is eyewitness accounts of, of what happened. And you realize, you know, just how difficult uh, it is uh, for, for our troops uh, from whatever nation who represent us and are acting on our behalf to do what they do. You also realize what a what an amazing leadership challenge it would be, or in, and that it is, uh, to lead troops uh, in very, very tough situations. The Good Soldiers focuses on Colonel K. I, I won't mispronounce his last name, but he, his nickname is Colonel K. Uh, or The Cause, uh, some folks call him. Uh, and I like this book a lot because it's the story of a real leader uh, and leaders. And, and you get insight into their highs and their lows, uh, their, the things they do well, as well as their imperfections. And it's very honest, it's very real, and it's extraordinarily well written. So, you know, when we read these headlines in the newspaper, at this point we've read them for so long now that most of us probably skip over them. I think it's important to step back and, and pause and really think and reflect on what's really going on uh, outside of our own lives uh, for whatever troubles most of us have or, or challenges most of us have. Uh, sometimes I think they pale in comparison really to the challenges that, that the folks that are representing us uh, face. So I recommend this book to you, The Good Soldiers. Uh, it, it's a, a good reminder of, of what's going on in, in the broader world and a really terrific insight into leadership challenges that uh, most of us won't ever face, but perhaps there are lessons to be learned from those that do. So thanks, have a great week, and I'll see you next week.